In this video, we will show you how to replace your crankshaft position sensor on this Ford Ranger. This will be mounted down along the bottom front of your engine. Let's get into it. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. Now with that said, let's carefully make our way underneath the vehicle. Looking along the front of the engine, right along the side of your crankshaft pulley, you're going to find your crankshaft position sensor. To start removing this, let's start with the electrical connector. You'll find that you have a locking tab, depress that and slide this out of position. Once you've done that, give it a quick check for corrosion and set the wiring aside. The tab's right there, just press that in. If you see any funny colors, that's corrosion and it would need to be dealt with. Ours looks fine, we'll set it aside. Now at this point, before we continue removing the rest of our crankshaft position sensor, it's important to make sure we have the engine in top dead center on cylinder one. To do this, there's a couple different ways. The way that we will do it is by turning the crank pulley clockwise using a 21 millimeter. While I'm turning this, what I need to pay attention to is compression. I'm listening to the engine while I turn this. Typically, you'll start hearing a little bit of a hissing noise. When you're hearing the hissing, the next thing that we want to do is pay attention to the crank pulley itself. On this pulley, you'll find that you have a small bolt hole. If you were to look behind the pulley on the timing chain cover, it's going to have a threaded bolt hole as well. We need to align those two bolt holes while we're on top dead center on compression stroke cylinder one. Got our little bolt here. This is an M6. Now we'll be paying attention inside this area. Now, since I can hear compression, I know I'm on a compression stroke, we'll be paying attention through the large holes in the pulley here. Looking at the timing chain cover, I can see that mounting bolt hole. It's pretty much in the six o'clock range here. Continue turning that crank pulley until that bolt hole lines up and put in your M6 mounting bolt. Feels like it's grabbing on a ridge here. If you do have to turn this backwards, you can really only go just the teensiest bit. You never want to turn this counterclockwise. You can cause damage. Right there. I felt like it slid right in. At this point, the bolt has dropped in through the hole of the crankshaft pulley into the hole in the timing chain cover. Confirm that the bolt is directly below the crankshaft pulley bolt. At this point, let's continue on with installing our crankshaft position sensor tool. On your new crankshaft position sensor, you're going to find it comes with a brand new alignment tool. Set your sensor aside for now, and we'll continue on with that tool itself. Just one more quick thing about this alignment tool. Looking at the very end here, you can tell that you have this center notched out. Looking at the harmonic balancer, you're going to find that you have several teeth that make their way all the way around this. If this harmonic balancer is in the proper position, you should be able to take that alignment tool and slide it right in up against that. If you found you had an issue putting the tool on here, you have to make a quick adjustment with the crank pulley. Now with that mounting bolt in there, and we have our alignment tool on here, I can see on my harmonic balancer, I have a few markings here. This tool is properly aligned with that center marking, the yellow one there. Now, since we know we are perfectly situated, let's continue on by removing that alignment tool. And then we'll continue on by removing each of our two eight millimeter headed bolts holding this sensor in place. Careful not to break these bolts off. Now that I have both of those bolts loose, I wanna show you something. You can take hold of the sensor and you can wiggle it around a little bit. 
those mounting bolt holes are oblonged. That's the reason for making sure that you have the engine on top dead center. If you're off by even a tiny bit with the alignment of the sensor, you will find that you have a starting condition and potentially a check engine light. Inspect that mounting hardware as you remove it, replace it as necessary. Make sure you're holding onto that sensor as you remove your final bolt. There it is, friend. The next thing we'll do is clean the mounting area and the two mounting bolts. Use a light piece of sandpaper for this. We're just gonna scuff it and make sure it's a smooth area. As for the bolts, once you have cleaned the threads, use a tiny bit of blue thread locker. Never use red thread locker on this application. Okay friends, let's get ready for the installation of our brand new crankshaft position sensor. Just slide this right on here. Now at this point, we're going to put it in position. While putting it in position, we're paying attention to that notch that's on the alignment tool. Make sure that it's aligned with the proper tooth on the crank pulley. Let's get this in position, start in each of our two mounting bolts. Once they're started in, go ahead and snug them up and then torque those to 62 inch pounds. Leave the alignment tool in place while you continue tightening each one of these bolts. Once you have them tight, you can remove that tool. Okay, right there is bottomed out. I'm not gonna go any further than that. I wanna make sure that we torque these. wrench on here, 62 inch pounds. There's one. Confirm you're properly aligned and now you can remove that tool. Set that aside for recycling. Remove your alignment bolt up across here. Okay, let's reconnect our electrical connector. Press it in, listen for a click, make sure it's nice and secure. Get a click from that, give it a tug. Okay friend, we fully installed our crankshaft position sensor. At this point, carefully make your way out from under the vehicle. Start up the vehicle a few times, make sure you have no running condition and no check engine light. After that, Go ahead and take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.